Welcome to another VEX Changeup competition. Today's event is being played in a live remote format where every team plays from their home field. This format keeps our teams very socially distanced, utilizing the VEX live remote platform to link remote teams for Alliance play. Changeup is played on a 12 foot by 12 foot field. There are nine scoring goals placed in rows across the field, creating what looks a bit like a tic-tac-toe board. Four teams play at a time with two teams playing as the Red Alliance and two teams playing as the Blue Alliance. At today's event, teams will play in multiple qualification matches, followed by playoff rounds to determine a tournament champion. The objective of the changeup game is for alliances to own rows of scoring goals, claiming as many rows on the tic-tac-toe board as they can for their alliance. There are horizontal rows on your screen, such as the one connecting goal A, B, and C. There are vertical rows on your screen, such as the one connecting A, D, and G. There are also diagonal rows, such as the one connecting goals A, E, and I. An alliance owns a goal by having the highest number of points in that goal. Balls and a goal of the alliance's color are worth two points, and balls of the other alliance's color are worth one point. Look on the screen. If these two towers were on a red field, then the left goal would be worth four points, two for the red ball and one for each blue ball. The right goal would be worth six points, as there are three red balls, each worth two points. The blue ball on top actually sits outside the top of the goal and does not count. If these goals were on a blue field, the left goal would be worth five points, two for each blue ball and one for the red ball, and the right goal would be worth three points, one for each of the three red balls. Again, the blue ball protrudes above the top ring and does not count in the right-hand tower. We've already covered the ownership of goals, that being a ball the same color as the team's alliance in a scored goal is worth two points, and a ball of the opposite color is worth one point. We've talked about getting a connected row of three goals. A connected row is worth 13 points. The game is played in an autonomous period followed by a driver control period. During the autonomous period, which is 15 seconds long, teams score points and the winner of the alliance period, the person whose team has the highest score after those 15 seconds, gets six bonus points. Let's finish our review of scoring by looking at a specific example on your screen right now. This is goal A, and as you can see, there are four teams that have a goal A on their field. Each red team has a goal A, and each blue team has a goal A. In this example, red team A, the first red team, put two red balls and one blue ball in their tower for a total of five points, and the second red team put one red ball in their tower for a total of two points, giving red seven alliance points for tower A. If you look at that same goal on the blue field, the blue team A put three blue balls in that goal, giving them six points, and the second blue team put two blue balls in that tower give them four points. Blue has an alliance score of 10. There's one more twist to scoring that occurs at the end of the match. Let's describe that right now. At the end of the match, each robot can choose to touch a goal on their field. When they touch that goal, they increase the score of the balls in that goal for both of the teams of their alliance. So for instance, in the example we have right here, blue has one goal A by a score of 10 to seven. But assume one of the red robots decides to touch goal A at the end of the match. That changes the score. When one red robot touches a tower, such as goal A, that doubles the score of all the balls in goal A for both red teams. So in this case, those balls that were in the tower for team A are not worth two points and one point, but instead the red balls are worth four points and the blue balls are worth two. So instead of being a score of five, the Red Alliance has a score of 10 in that goal. By touching tower A, that team also has doubled the score for the other red team in that tower. So in their goal A, they get four points instead of two. By touching one tower, the red team has now doubled the score in tower A, and they win that goal by a score of 14 to 10. One more twist. Both robots can touch a tower. So if both red robots touch the same goal, goal A, the score in that goal is quadrupled. So now red has won this tower by a score of 28 to 10. Touching these towers at the end of a match is very important and serves to substantially increase an alliance's score for that goal. Watch the end of the game as teams race to touch a tower and increase their score in certain goals, trying to make sure they own that goal as they make rows across the field. Thanks for joining us for today's VEX Changeup Tournament, played in a live remote format. Sit back and watch as teams that are thousands of miles away 
come together to play in the same event on red and blue alliances.